Welcome back to another Miami Heat post game show. The Miami Heat are the best team in the NBA. We're going to win a championship. We're back, baby. We're going to make the same run as we did last year. No one can beat us. Just kidding. So the Miami Heat did have a really big victory tonight against the Cavs at home. They won 121 to 84, which was unbelievable. Like the fact that this team was up 45 points at one point against any team in the NBA. Like I know the Cavs are third, but they didn't have we're we're all we're all no one's healthy right now in the NBA, right? They are they were undermanned. They've had Donovan Mitchell, their best player, out for a while. Um, Struce and a few others. You know, we already know who we're missing. The whites, the white boys on our team have been out for a while. So either way, I'm like just shocked how the hell were we up by 45 points like we ended up winning by 37 which is huge so this is like the seventh biggest victory in miami heats franchise obviously the biggest margin of victory um and twitter's pretty funny now it's just everybody thinks the heater back now after this after this victory after a bounce back as we call it right as heat nation calls it i'm happy we won it is an important win we needed to win especially because the sixers beat the freaking clippers which i'm pissed about i don't know how the Clippers blew that, but either way, Martel, what are your thoughts on this? Because again, the, the whole theme of the season, besides injuries, we have one step forward, one step back. Right? We took a step back the last game. We're taking our step forward. Can we continue and build on this for the remainder of the season and get it out of the play-in? Or what are your thoughts, though? First on the game, maybe we could talk a little bit more about the the rest of the year. Well, we just have to be consistent. You know, this game we had seven players in double figures. And this Miami Heat offense struggles to score sometimes. So it's kind of weird to see, you know, this Miami Heat team score 120 plus points when usually, or the last game, what, they only had like 88 points. So I just think this Miami Heat team has to be consistent. They can't, you know, be nonchalant. And Jimmy Butler, he has to be at the head of it. He is our best player. He's our leader. And we go as far as he takes us along with Bam out of Vile. You know, I'm just hoping that this Miami Heat team can at least get out of the playing tournament because that week of basketball, the Miami Heat could use that to heal up and to rest up. So hopefully going forward, we continue to stack these wins so that we can get out of the playing tournament. Yeah, man, we finally won. I've been I've been asking for a, a victory like this for a while now. That's all I've been asking for. A terrible team, a good team. I mean, this is a good team record-wise. I mean, they're 43 and 28. Um, they're four games ahead of us. And they didn't have their best players and stuff like that. And we do, And these are the type of games that we kind of skunk up throughout the whole season and just how he played. Like, we'll skunk this game up. We'll somehow win it, but win it by, like, two points or, like, get saved by a buzzer beater, like, bam, in the Detroit game. So I'm happy we won this game. We're 39 and 32. I'm still standing on what I'm saying. I'm <laughs> What I'm saying. I'm still standing on what I said uh, a few episodes. Episodes. I think we're going to go 7-7 seven and seven and finish about 44 and 38. Um, and that's going to be us a playing team because um, – Everybody that thinks the Heat are back, it's wrong. Like it's wrong. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> it's wrong. Right, let's 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 relax. I don't want to be a negative Nancy man over here, but let's just relax. The Cavaliers, like, th it was just one of those nights for the Cavaliers where, like, when do you see a team score seventeen points in the second quarter and then eighteen points in the third? Like, you usually typically don't see that. Um, I'll give credit to our defense because that's incredible right there. But I also will say, like, that was just. They just had a bad game. It happens. Like, out of an 82-game season, like, you had bad games. And that's what the Cavaliers just had a horrible game. Um, you usually don't see 17, 18, and stuff like that. Even 22-point quarter, like, it was terrible. And even when the game started, like, it was 7-0. Like, I just felt the game was already over after that. Like, the Heat just came to prepare to play as they should. And um, we got to get ready for this playoffs. Um, we're in seventh seed, and we're still one game behind the Pacers, and the Pacers are playing the Lakers currently right now, so hopefully the Lakers win, and it's crazy to say that I'm rooting for the Lakers because I hate them dudes. Well, we hate them, but we got we to gotta root for them tonight. What's the, do you have the, you have yeah, the score the Lakers, right now? The Lakers are winning by four points um, at its halftime, 68 to 72. Um, very high scoring. Jesus Christ. Uh, but 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 this is, this is what I want to say, and I'll let y'all talk. Everybody that keeps saying, oh, seeding doesn't matter, this and bro, let me tell you this. We're this is the worst position to possibly possibly be in because we need other teams to win. You never want to be in that position ever. 
You never want to be in that position. We're rooting for the Lakers. We're rooting for the other teams that we're not even playing because we didn't handle our business earlier in the year. That's a problem. I hate that stuff. I hate relying on teams because we couldn't do what we needed to do. I get it. Injuries are happening. But when when our team is healthy, we can't lose those games. Simple as that. Yeah. Like Memphis Grizzlies without <laughs> Jaw, without Bane, without everybody that started that you know seven-game losing streak, losing to the Raptors, losing to the Wizards, yada, 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 to Trent's point. I was watching other box scores, which I typically don't really care about because I'm not in fantasy basketball. I haven't been in a couple seasons, so I don't care as much about the other teams. I was pissed because the Warriors freaking lost to the Pacers. You know, like we were hoping, and Eric Reed was talking about this. Um, what was a Friday when we are playing against the Pelicans? Like, hopefully these teams that are going out west, you know, like the Pacers specifically, like big West Coast trip, we need them to lose, like – and it's true, man. Like, we're at that point. We have, what, 10, 11, 12 games left now? And, like, we messed up with, like, three or four, like, five games against some horrible teams. Like, we win half of those. Like, if we go three and two versus those teams right there, you know, we're at 42. Like, we're, we're like, possibly the fourth seed right now. And that's just, like, five games against horrible teams. Right now, of course, again, we are second most clutch games. Clutch games are games – that are decided by five points or less with five minutes uh, left to go in the game. So, again, shocked that tonight, to Trent's point, we were up big and, like, we got to relax. Like, I like this stuff. As a sports fan, like, I've been a fan of this Heat team. They're torturous. We all know this. One day you'll get, like, the best team on earth, and the next you get a team that looks like they can lose to a college team. And – we never get double digit victories. Like when was the last time? The last time I get was against the Pistons. And that was like in the fourth quarter, that was a close game. And we ended up winning by 12. So like, we need to take care of business. We haven't done that. And I don't think we're back necessarily either. Like this doesn't prove a lot. I'm happy we won. Don't get me wrong, but it doesn't prove that we could compete for sure. At this point, like Donovan Mitchell, is was like an MVP type player this season, right? Like he's been out for a little bit now, but like I want to see us beat the the Bucks now after they've figured it out. I want to see us beat the Celtics, the Clippers, the Nuggets, like a better team than the Cavs who are like a good regular season team. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel honestly cuz this offense not not including tonight is rough, man. Like we didn't talk about the Pels game, guys, but like 88 points, like that's rough. So I don't know, Martel. What's your outlook? So Trent, you think, or you can hop in, Trent. I know you said you think we'll go like six and six, probably like in the next 12 games or whatever. But can we yeah. get out of the play-in? Like, are are we destined for the play-in? Because one last point: if the season finished today, we would be seventh, right? And we would be playing the eighth seed, right? Seven plays eighth winner gets the seventh seed. Guess who's coming back apparently in April? Joel Embiid, even though we talked about this and think that that's crazy that he's going to play. He's speculated to come back. Like he shouldn't, he sh- he, listen, there's he shouldn't. no way, but he, he, shouldn't. Come, he comes back and he's either seventh and they're eighth. And we lose that game. Like we lost to the, what, the Hawks last year when, when they were eighth and we were seventh, uh, cause the, he were seventh seed last year, technically. Right. But then they lost. So we were dropped to the eighth. If that happens, dude, we're playing the Celtics in the first round. So, I mean, like, this is not a good position to be in. So, anyway, Trent, what was your thought? So, you were going to jump in. What, 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 what I was going to say is you brought up, you kind of brought up my point was the Sixers, right? We can beat the Sixers in a, in a series, but the thing is, this is a playing game. So, you don't get them in a seven game series, you get them in a one game series. Anything could possibly happen. And with that, Joel Embiid being back is already going to put a threat on the court, and that's just going to get everybody else going. Like, Kyle Lowry been balling for the freaking 76ers, dog. Like, it's annoying. Tari's Max, he's a damn all-star player. Like, they got a solid team over there, man. So, like, I we just need to get 6 seed. That's all I'm worried about because I do not want to see no no team in, in that 7-8 matchup because anything could possibly happen. I mean, you saw what happened last year. We lost. And, um... I will say this, though. Like, if we do get the eighth seed, I am from Boston, so I would definitely love to go watch the Heat play in Boston. Um, 
as a fan, do I, I we can't duck the smoke, right? We've been we've been bat we've been bashing Boston all year. We've been bashing Boston all year, Amir. At like all Heat fans, we've been bashing them. So like now that we get them in the first round, it's like, do we want to see ball? Nah, we got we gotta hold. We gotta we gotta talk talk back it well, up because we've been yeah. we've been bashing them. So if we see Boston in the first round, bring it. I would definitely be going to the seven game series because I think that'll be a seven game series. And even if it's not a seven game series, guess what? We are gonna tire them out, and that's all we need to do. Because if as long as Boston don't win. I don't care. You know why? Because Boston fans suck. So if we tire <laughs> Boston out as much as possible in that first round, then they got the second round, then they got the Eastern Conference Finals, and then they got the Finals. Remember what the Miami Heat did, right? Boston tired us out. We should have never went to seven. Boston tired us out in the Eastern Conference Finals. We was up 3-1. We made it a seven-game series. Bull crap. We are up 3-0, technically, if you well, yeah. that first. But I will say this, right? Denver would have still won the championship, but I at least think we would have won six games. We were just so mm -hmm. gassed and tired, Fire, and they were just a better team than us, but at least we made it a little more competitive. Like, that was one of the easiest finals that some people just watched. It's like, are, are we serious? So, if we don't win, let's tire Boston out. That's all I say. And then I'm not ducking no smoke from Boston because we've been talking. We've been talking all that talking, especially I wish, I wish um, Ernest was here. Because Ernest has so much faith in his team, and I want to see what he got thinks about us playing Boston in the first round. I really do. Dude, but the yeah. Boston Celtics are thirty-two and three at home. That's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. So that like, is crazy. Like, but I wouldn't be surprised tough. if they lose in the playoffs because that's what they do. You know, like when you look at some of the stacked teams, you know, you know, Giannis, he's been like the first seed with the Bucks, and look what we did with them. So, like, is it impossible? No. But the Miami Heat, they don't really make it easy on themselves when they're the seventh or the eighth seed or playing in the playing tournament or half the roster because we still really haven't even gotten any update on Tyler Hero. We've Nothing. Gotten no update. No. Kevin Love is ready to go. I think he's ready to go, but they're just resting him. And that's fine. Kevin Love could take as long as he wants because he was phenomenal when he was playing. Um, but Tyler Hero, no, no, well, you know, maybe next week or in two weeks. That's very strange to me. That it's just very, very quiet about what's going on with his with his foot. Yeah, and it's like what Trent said like a while back. Don't be surprised if it's season ending and and he doesn't come back. I wouldn't be surprised. I like I wouldn't. I think Duncan's gonna be all right. You know, I think that was like our like a you know so back just go back. to the doctor. Yeah, just go to the doctor and make sure that you're good. But the Tyler thing is a huge, huge, huge because it's hard for this Miami Heat roster where everything has to go right for this Miami Heat roster. You know, we don't have the talent or the athleticism compared to the other teams. You know, it's crazy just to say, oh, well, Jimmy and Bam can just do everything. That's a lot to put on two players. We need everybody healthy. And the fact that we don't even have Josh Richardson either, you know, people forget about him. And, yes, we got Patty Mills, and, yes, we got DeLon Wright, but I want to go into the playoffs with a fully healthy Miami Heat roster. You know, and it's a shame that we really haven't been able to see that within the past few years. Patty Mills is terrible. He should not be playing, bro. You know, you, you, you want to know something crazy? I've seen this stat. He started off like three for three at the three-point line, or three for four in the Heat debut. The dude's like three for 31 since then. Worse. Like, like, or he was worse before this. He was three for 36 dude. It's so in his bad. last four games. Unreal, right? Like, what dude, the hell is that? He shouldn't, he shouldn't play. And I get it. We're so banged up that he needs to be playing in the starting lineup. And stuff like that, but dude, he sucks. Like he's just got. I, I when I seen that signing, I said two things: Jay Richard Tyler Hero is out for the season. One of them. It looks like they may be both out for the season. <laughs> if you want to, like, I don't. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, like, like I said, man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be rooting for this team no matter what. But I'm one of those fans that no one likes because I'm realistic with it, and I'm always gonna say the truth. And the Heat fans uh -huh. don't like the truth. What y'all want to hear is us say. Yeah, he are gonna go eighty-two and zero, and we're gonna win a championship. And Jimmy Butler is the best player in the NBA. No, I'm not saying that because it's not true. I'm not delusional. I watch way too many basketball. I watch way too many teams in this league that are way better than us, and yep. they're making front office moves like perfect. I mean, I hate the Celtics, but bro, give the Celtics credit, man. I mean, bro, adding Porzingis and Drew Holiday to a team with already Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown is just insane. Like, that's just a crazy flip. And I will say this, right? Um, so, he's talking about the records, right? 32-3 and three at home. 
the Miami Heat are a terrible home team. They're terrible. They're actually better away than home this year. So this actually may um, could be interesting, right? Because Celtics are very good at home, but we're also good away. Um, so it could be a little factor in heading into the series um, if we play them in the first round. But let's just let's just go finish these games out. We got the Warriors next. That's going to be a battle because they lost today, and if they lose um, against the Heat, they're out the playoffs. Play in too. So uh, yeah, we got Fully some out. stuff. They go to eleven if they lose yeah, to the Heat. Yeah, they, if they lose, they go to eleven if Houston wins, or like they be tied. So that's <laughs> bad. And then um, last thing I'll say is. The Blazers and the Wizards, we have to go. Yo. <laughs> Don't even bring that up, man. Like it's just like it's because it's not like it's like it should be automatic, but it's not with the Heat. You know what I mean? Bro, if we lose these two games, bro, we shouldn't be in the playoffs. I'm telling like we gotta go on a two game win streak. If we like, lose those four two game, games, no, I'm we need a four game win streak right now. Yeah, we do. And if well, we lose yeah, uh, four games. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Like like the Warriors and then the the thing is it's like the the Knicks is going to be a battle no matter what, healthy or not. 76ers, mm-hmm. that's April. So you think he'll be back then? I don't think like, so. Okay, okay, yeah. I don't Who are we talking so. about? Tyler? What injury exactly did he have? Joel? Oh, for or, Embiid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Embiid. Uh, knee, oh, meniscus. Yeah, knee injury. And yeah. he, he's crazy. He's Yo, he's coming back way too fast. I don't care how long it's been. It, it, listen, a guy that's like, what, 300 pounds and seven feet tall coming back off of a man? That's yeah. how people get injured again. That's how you ruin your career. That's how you ruin your career. I'm telling you, I I would have shut him down. Yeah, he's getting older. I would have shut him down, bro. I would I would have shut him down real quick. He's getting closer to thirty. Trent, I want to follow up on some of the Boston stuff that you said earlier, though. So you said you you you've been saying the Heat are cooked, and if we lose to any of the teams you mentioned, even one of them, if we if we lose to the the Wizards or who was the other team, the the Blazers. I'll agree we're cooked because, like, that's unacceptable. <laughs> With this many games at this point, like, how important each game is, right? Every game like, counts. Every game counts. But I don't know. I think, you, I think you said you think that he could go seven with Boston if we were the eighth seed and they were number one and we're playing them first round. Like, I don't Just, know, man. I hate we're, – we're doing the same thing that Heat fans are doing with, like, saying that because the Heat last year did this, that they're capable of doing it again. Like, are – we're worse offensively, it feels like, even with a deeper team. Well, like I say this. I say we go 6-7 because the Celtics are soft and our intensity is just we – we're we're just a tougher team. And then you can yeah. bully the Celtics. That's why, yeah. like, like I have a Celtics um, – my, my old boss, he's a big Celtics fan, and he actually wants to hop on the podcast because he hates the Heat. He's sending me messages all the time about the Heat. But he's like, bro, y'all – are tough y'all the intensity is always there and and intensity is always going to be risen up in the playoffs so that's why i think just those two things alone um could make the celtics like panic a little bit and and, and jason tatum it's just jason tatum in the postseason like let's be honest mm-hmm. so like i i don't think we're good enough to beat the celtics but like intensity playoffs okay Tatum. so like yeah like that i feel you but also it's like we're also saying the same thing though because boston hasn't won with their build yet we can't assume that team, because though. of this last year team. they didn't win or the year before they went to the finals they played against steph curry like that was like one of his greatest championships that he's ever put together with that team obviously yeah. not the same team that he had with like a kd and then of course a healthy clay and draymond so like that's the thing though boston can get over the hump like they are dominating the regular season the stat that i love to say who wins championships? 51 of the last 77 champions. The NBA has been around since the merger, 77 years. 51 of those have been one seeds for a reason because they're the best team. And it translates to the playoffs. So, like, I hate the Celtics. I believe we can compete against them. I don't know if I believe, truthfully, we could beat them unless we're healthy. If, 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 right, Trent? Like, if we're not healthy. So, I don't think we're going to beat them, honestly. Not to be pessimistic, because I am optimistic. I have faith and hope like in this team. But I don't want to sell the Celtics short because of X, Y, and Z like from the past years. They're different. He, Jason, look, so LeBron and J.J. Redick were on a podcast, right? They have a new out podcast together. I didn't listen to it. I saw a highlight saying, Jason Tatum's 25. He's been to five. He's been to a finals once and five Eastern Conference finals. At age 25, 
He's like, I didn't win. LeBron's like, I didn't win, win a ring till I was 28. Kobe didn't win his first one without Shaq till he was 28. Which is crazy. Like all these people, Jordan, 28, like like Kawhi, 29, 28, whatever. Like, you know what I mean? 20, well, he was younger. With that, that first one I don't count. But like he won that one with the Raptors. He's like 28. Like that's like the year, the peak. Your peak, peak, peak is like 27 to like 32, basically, right? Like he's still young as fuck. I hate Jason Tatum. That guy pushes off every goddamn play. Like I don't like Jason Tatum, but I don't want to sell them short. Like – just Listen. because last year they didn't make it, they didn't make it, or the year before they didn't win, like we're doing the same thing that Heat fans are saying, right? Just based on shit from that happened in the past, like that's the past. They added Drew Holiday, one of the best two way players in the NBA. They added KP, who's always hurt, but he's averaging twenty points per. They added another twenty point scorer with uh, Jalen Brown and Tatum, right? Like they're they're a juggernaut right now. So, and even if we get past them, we don't even talk about the West teams anymore, Trent. Like you said, like. We're not going to see a West team. Like, if we do, we're not going to beat the Nuggets. Like, you know, well, this is this is kind of what I was just saying. Like, we can't we can't like early in the season because we was playing good basketball. Like, we can't even now to this day, like on Twitter and just Heat fans in general, we can't bash the Celtics and then be scared of them. Like, how 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 does that make sense? So like, we got to keep the same energy. We can't got to keep the same energy. That's why I brought that up. Like. All right, if we see the Celtics, like I right, I know they're gonna beat us, but let's let's keep let's let's see what's up. Let's see what we can do. Like, don't be like I don't know. I think that's just kinda weird. Like Celtics suck after Celtics, this and that, and then it's like nah, but they're gonna beat us. It's like what? So that's that's all. Yeah, but well, we don't think the Celtics suck. Anybody anybody on here think the Celtics Bro, suck? Twitter like, is Twitter hate fans are psycho. Well, so are Boston fans. Every, I mean, every every sport has, or every team in every sport. No, that's has their, true. But their stands. Heat fans think we can actually be Celtics, and it's kind of insane. <laughs> hey, is it, anything's listen, possible. It won't be easy. Listen, it won't be easy. Uh, listen, I would say that as a Heat, you know, that Heat fans think it's gonna just be Jimmy Butler, you know, Jim VP. People don't realize like that was exhausting for him to even do that. Yeah. It looked effortless because obviously we're watching it on TV and he's dropping 45 and 50. But if but go watch those highlights, even the bubble, just look what he did. That's exhausting. And that means that everything has to go right. You know, Giannis got hurt twice and all these other things like that. Like those were miracle runs. Yes, we've done it more than once. And I guess it's, you know, more than just a miracle. But it's a lot to put on Jimmy Butler to say, yeah, just carry us there and just think we're going to win. It's very tough. We live and die by Jimmy Butler and the three. Like, if Jimmy's not right and carrying us, then we can't get far. If we're not hitting threes, you saw what happened against the Pelicans, right? I mean, even if we shot even slightly better than whatever the hell we shot, you know, five for 42 or whatever the hell it was, like, we only go as far as Jimmy takes us. And our three point shooting, that's like, and we can't shoot. They, what, you know, have you seen the formula for the last few games? Like besides today, like what are they doing right now? They're clogging the paint so that Jimmy and Bam can't operate in there, and they're they're forcing us to shoot. So tough, but anyway, big win. We didn't really talk a lot about this game today because there's not much to say. Obviously, like I mean, we just we had a guy a bunch of guys, Haywood Highsmith was our leading scorer, right? So we just busted their ass. They didn't show up for work today the Cavs. And we have a big one on Tuesday. So got to get this dub against the Warriors. I don't know. Any predictions? We'll close out here, but any thoughts? Do you think we can win this game? Like I think I think we'll win this game. I think we'll win this game. It's, Warriors it's are not that good, but um Heat are also not that good either. So we'll see. <laughs> I mean, anything can happen, man. I'm looking at the final schedule, to your point, Trent, and it's supposed to be easy, but, I mean, Knicks, Sixers, Rockets are playing good, to your point. I mean, playing Dallas. Who knows? They're all but... fighting. The thing is, they're all fighting for seeding. There's not – if you look at that schedule, exactly. and I'm not about to try to ramble, but if, if you look at the schedule, there's not one team on this team on the roster – I mean, roster, on on the schedule right now that, um, that outside of the Raptors are fighting for seeding. True. Yeah, so we'll see. So anyway, yeah, yeah. So anyway, Heater thirty nine and thirty two, seventh seed. I mean, we're four games back from the third seed, right? We're four games back 
five games, excuse me. If no, four. We're actually four now because Cavs have been losing lately because Mitchell's been out. 12 games. I mean, win the games we can win one game at a time and then hope Cavs, Knicks, Magic, Pacers, you know, lose a few here and there. So go Lakers tonight. F the Lakers for life, but I guess, you know, go Lakers at least. So, um, oh, they're up 11. Are they? Yep. Well, sad that we got to watch other box scores, but either way, thank you so much for watching. Any closing words? Like, share, like, share, comment, subscribe. All right, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.